Hello everyone, it is Ava from On The Spot Interviews with, can you introduce yourself? I'm, I'm Brandon Sievers. Hello. How and <laughs> this is On The Spot Interviews. It is so great to finally uh, see you again. It's yes. been almost a year, so mm -hmm. a lot has happened for you this past Definitely. year. Um, obviously me, as well as a lot of your other followers, we mm -hmm. know you best from Disney XD's Walk the Prank, yes. but now you've got some other stuff to add yes, to that. So I do. Please, uh, please elaborate for well, us. Um, just recently I released a song, I'm a recording artist now, I just released a song called Chameleon. Uh, it's on this iTunes, Spotify, Tidal, all the like major streaming outlets and stuff like that. But it's I just released the song, so I'm, I'm a recording artist. So, That's uh, amazing. And thank you. What I think is so cool, and I know like uh, we kind of touched on this before even mm -hmm. talking, is like a lot of times like you know we see Disney stars do music first and then acting, or right. like Sabrina Carpenter, for example, like mm -hmm. she was. First, uh, I first like knew her as a singer, and then she right. works Girl Meets World. But you kind of took the traditional path. You know, you were on uh, Disney XD's Walk the Prank, mm -hmm. and then um, you kind of used that platform more or less to help you propel into the music world. So, right. can you kind of tell us a bit about that process? How mm -hmm. much of acting helped you kind of in the creative <laughs> process? Well, honestly, being around so many good writers is really good for creativity. Mm -hmm. Like seriously, when you're around, when you're constantly around super creative people, it makes you want to be as creative as them, if that makes sense. Of so course, that yeah. that really helped in like me making me want to do this even more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, yeah, obviously, like working on um, a show, a Disney show, like yeah. you guys have the best writers. Just so lucky. I, I mean, they, they were really <laughs> so really you. Great. Yeah, you obviously um, can take inspiration from that. And Absolutely. Chameleon, I think the concept is incredible Thank you. and the music video oh my goodness when there's like rainbow and like yeah. paint ever is so cool um Thank you. so the song um has a lot of different messages it does ultimately it's about being yourself and exactly. like letting your true colors shine so to speak mm -hmm. um but what line in the song or maybe even specifically in the chorus mm -hmm. stands out to you the most do you try to hold on to um i guess i let, let your colors bleed the blue mm -hmm. i, I love that line too. Thank you. yeah I, I love that line because i mean it's that line basically sums up everything like if you don't take away anything else from the song take that line out because like that's going to hopefully be be what it takes to encourage you to be yourself like mm -hmm. as much as possible Definitely. And it's yeah. really hard to be yourself in this industry. At Absolutely. Least. I, I feel like for me, you know, as an interviewer and mm -hmm. because you, you don't know if you want to take this project over this project mm -hmm. or what, um, if there's a project that maybe explores uh, ideas that aren't true to like who you are and your values. Do you do it for, you know, the, the screen time or do right. you take a step back and work on like some independent projects? So, yeah, so yeah. I mean, I think you're, you already have at such a young age, you kind of have that ability to kind of decipher what you want to be on because you've been on I mean amazing shows besides Walk the Prank. So. I have been, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, been very, very blessed in that capacity. Yes. Um, <laughs> I have to ask where was Chameleon filmed? Because it is gorgeous. Chameleon was filmed in some hills. I they're in California. Okay. They're like in the middle of the desert. I didn't even I didn't even know they existed, but <laughs> the videographer who shot it was just like, trust me, let's go here, bring these outfits, bring one that's all white, and I'll bring everything else. I'm like, okay, sure. Mm -hmm. And we did. It was like one of the most fun shoot days of the mm -hmm. Did yeah. you shoot all in one day? We shot everything in one day. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's very impressive. Um, <laughs> what was kind of the biggest like um, challenge you faced? Because if you're in the desert, it's hot. So it's did you have to like reapply like makeup and everything? I actually wasn't time? wearing any makeup. Oh. I w <laughs> um, though I did sweat a good amount. Because <laughs> but the thing is, it wasn't as hot because we were at the top of like a mountain almost. Oh, okay. So you like the cars were parked down there, and you kind of had to hike up a little mountain. And we shot. Most of everything from just people following me up through the mountains and a lot of drone stuff too. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. Drones are so cool now. Drones are so cool. advanced. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know how people get shots with drones. Like I couldn't I can barely fly one. <laughs> I, yeah. Fun story about that. I was mm -hmm. in Yellowstone this past summer. Oh, um, nice. we stayed in Idaho, which is like uh, you know, 30, 45 minutes from like the entrance. Mm -hmm. Um and we stayed at this gorgeous lodge and so one of my dad's friends brought his drone. Mm -hmm. We get this gorgeous shot of everyone, uh, and then the drone flies into the tree. He didn't stop it in time, that's and it just shattered. That's I know. <laughs> Luckily, I 
honestly, I'm pretty sure there's insurance now because okay, it happens so good. much. So yeah, like, good. things were recovered, but it was. I mean, it, it makes for a great story. I just it told does. you something about drones that otherwise I would have just said drones are cool and left it at that, right? right. Yeah, so, it's a good story. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Um, so let's touch on um, a little bit uh, of updates to okay. music. Um, Chameleon has been out for mm -hmm. uh, a few months now. You did the music video. Yes. Um, I know you're uh, currently working on new music. I am. Um, do you want to kind of convey the same types of messages about hope and I authenticity really or do you want to yes. kind of delve into like relationships friendships what are you planning on um well it's definitely a song about relationships that's coming out i can't say too much about them but there's there's what okay so there's a couple that i have done already and they're they're about hope for the most part mm -hmm. and there's one that's kind of more about relationships but they're mainly the main message i want to get across period is hope and mm -hmm. love and joy i love that definitely Thank you for that. um and do you have any like rough ideas to when it will be out will it be before the end of the year or? it definitely it won't be before the end of the year okay it thanks for be. your honesty <laughs> yes it will not be before the end of the year because to be honest i haven't even heard the complete final last week oh okay so yeah it won't be before the end of the year yes okay so maybe like january or february probably yeah probably. okay cool i mean that that's a great way to segue into 2019. Yes. I think Thank everyone you. wants, like, with New Year's resolutions, new ways to think about hope and love. Right. So you're going to provide us with that. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, of course, uh, we, as I mentioned earlier, like, mm -hmm. we know you from Walk the Parade. Yes. Um, season 3 has finished. Um, do you know anything about a potential season 4? It's, it's just that it's a potential season 4. I have no idea if it's happening yet or not. I hope it is, but mm -hmm. I, I don't know yet. You hope so, yeah, yes. of course. Um, well, on the past three seasons, which is mm -hmm. obviously a really good run for a Disney show. It um, is, It is. Yeah. Um, any moments on set that you think might have, like, inspired any of your songwriting or creative mm -hmm. ability with, like, fellow cast members? Wow, um... Let me think. I mean, <laughs> as far as the cast members, I can't say anything with the cast members, but like I said with the writers, mm -hmm. I mean, the cast and I were super close, but everyone in the crew, too, I was really, really close with. So, I mean, the writers, people, like, even people from props and the writers and, like, set dressing and wardrobe, like, I was really, really close with everyone and that camaraderie that always made me smile. I was like, what can I do to make other people feel like this? I love that. Yeah. yeah. And thank you for, you know, Highlighting the people behind the scenes because oh, obviously yeah. we don't we don't see their faces right. we see their names in the credits for two seconds Literally. but it's so great to hear that like you have relationships with uh, cast and crew that's Absolutely. awesome that's awesome um, yeah. and this is on the spot interviews which means yes. on the spot questions mm -hmm. I like to do some like rapid fire questions and then that's I good. close out with some like self promo and uh, future updates so oh. to start I always start with this one celebrity okay. crush. Uh, <laughs> um, either Scarlett Johansson or Lupita Nyong'o. Nice, nice. Um, yes. and favorite song at this very moment? Oh God. Um, <laughs> what have I been listening to? I mean, um, I don't know. Uh, oh, actually, Too Young by Nat King Cole. Oh, okay. I've been okay. listening to that one a lot. And nice, nice. Yes. And uh, favorite color? Uh, I like gold. I always forget of like always forget that like gold and silver are colors, not just eyeshadow like uh, <laughs> what are they called eyeshadow like uh, shades. So yeah. I I didn't even think that I'm gonna start saying silver when people ask me that. Yeah. Although people don't normally ask me what my favorite color is. What is your favorite? Color? <laughs> <laughs> it's glitter. Glitter is my favorite color, and that I know is. it's not a color, but I wish it was. So I guess yeah, silver. Yeah. Silver is technically silver. okay. Yeah. I'll say silver. Okay. Or like shiny silver. I'll yes. I'll. Put the modifier of like shiny before yes. I say any color. Yes. Shiny Just purple. Metallic. Sh yes, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, and favorite food. Mm, favorite food. There's this place out here. Um, I think it's veggie something. I can't remember. Veggie it. girl. That might be it. Yes, but they have these vegan buffalo wings that are so so good. It probably is veggie girl because they're is. all vegan. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. that my home is. So. Are, are you vegan? I was for a while. I'm not as of right now, but I, I mean, I still try to eat. As, I try to eat mainly vegan. Yeah, I mean, I think everyone you know tries, but it's it's it is hard. It's so. very it's very it's very difficult for sure. <laughs> um, and a game that when you were little you could never win, so you might have like cheated. I think you're old uh, enough you can say it, like Monopoly. You're yes, like, Monopoly. No. I always <laughs> well, I don't anymore. But good, I, good. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, um, are you sure? Yeah, I used to cheat a lot of Monopoly and Face Ten. Face Ten is like a lot of people play Gin Rummy or like Rummy. Oh yeah, Rummy. 
it's like phase 10 is the version of a tailmate and it's like it basically breaks up like the sets and the runs and things like that okay. into specific phases i used to see it like Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't even know that game, but really how, cool. did, how did you cheat in Monopoly? I'm so curious, because it's like pretty intricate, everyone's watching you. <laughs> Seriously, so if you, so usually I, 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 I was always the banker. No doubt, I was okay. always the banker. So when someone would like pay something to the bank, I might just take like a little bit and just put it like with my cash and put the rest in the bank. Oh my gosh, you had to be quick to do that. I did wow. just... Did you always win, though? I, no, no. Okay, so it didn't always work. It wasn't always successful. So I guess the message of this interview, if you get anything out of it besides hope and love, is uh, don't, don't cheat. cheat <laughs> amazing, amazing. Yeah. And um, if you're starting on an island, what three items would you bring? Oh, um, it's hard because, like, so many items, like, you need something else. Like, I could say a phone, but then I need a phone charger. Right. So, so I would say a generator. Okay. I'd say a generator for sure. I'd say uh, I'd bring a smart person with me. I'd bring a generator, I'd bring a smart person, and I'd bring a lot of matches. I like that. For yes. warmth and like yes, for cooking. Yes, for warmth and yeah. fire cooking. Yeah. If you could bring food and make the smart person keep right. food in their hands, right? right. <laughs> then you're all set. You're all set. Well, you are, if that ever happens to you, you will be, be awesome. Proud. Yeah, you'll be Thank good. You. <laughs> <laughs> um, and your dream collaboration music wise. Uh, mm, oh God. Um, <laughs> maybe Erica Badu. Oh, okay. I love Erica Badu. Nice, nice. Yeah. And your dream um collaboration like uh sitcom wise. I know you've been on Days of Our Lives. So oh yeah, I love Days of Our Lives. Um mm -hmm. uh, maybe Will Smith. Oh, okay, yeah. I love that. Yeah, seeing him like back in the sitcom, like from Fresh Prince, that would yeah. be so cool. That'd be oh, fun. That'd be that'd be a really fun one. Yeah. Um, and this is not really an on the spot because it doesn't require you to like think like rapid fire because mm -hmm. I want it to like be a like real, really authentic message. Um, okay. Can you just give advice to anyone else who maybe they're uh, dazzling just in music or okay. just in acting, but they want to branch out to, you know, do one or the other, like, add dancing, like, how do you Ooh. balance those two? Okay, I would say the best way to balance is time management. Time mm -hmm. management is key to balancing anything. So, I mean, whether you want to practice dancing for, say you're focusing on acting and you want to be a dancer as well, so I'd say if you can, on like three out of five weekdays, take a dance class or go um, put together some choreo or something, just so you don't lose it and then as you start to do that at more and more time in with mm -hmm. dancing until they're until acting and dancing are about equal and you feel like you're like they're like hand in hand. Mm -hmm. I like that. Wow. I actually um I used to play flute and take vocal lessons. Nice. And this like not simultaneously but like you yeah. know at the same general time and mm -hmm. The amount of connections my brain was making right. of playing an instrument and using my voice as an instrument was like Insanity. It, it was it so is. cool. I play piano. Oh, okay. so when I start to hear things and I start to play things, it it just makes so much sense. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I, I love it. Yeah, it's like hashtag mind blown. Like I didn't Seriously. know it was this all interconnected. Like the arts are just right. so interconnected. Right. You know, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Um, and I always like to close out with uh, a couple things. So okay. first of all, um, can you just plug your social media? I know yes. that you're uh, on Instagram and Twitter, and then yes. I don't know if you have like a Facebook. I do have Facebook. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So my Instagram and TikTok are the Brandon Sievers. My Twitter is Brandon underscore Sievers, and uh, my Snapchat is at Brandon Sievers. Uh, yeah, that's that's everything. Perfect. Yes. And uh, lastly, just anything you want to say to um, anyone who's been supporting you. Um, mm -hmm. I like to make it holistic, so either from day one before you were booked on. Disney all the way up until people who are just watching this interview, just a, a no. message you want to give to them. Thank you. Um, <laughs> seriously, thank you so much because, I mean, for you to uh, want to support me and want to hear my voice constantly in your head, thank you because it can be very annoying to myself at times. So It's not at all. Honestly, when I watched the video, I was thinking this, you have such a unique sound. And I'm not just saying that. I don't just say that to like anyone. I'm being... Dead serious. Thank you. Awesome. Of course, of course. Well, thank you so much for this interview Absolutely. and meeting thank me. Thank you for having me. Of course, of course. Yes. And um, I hope to see you soon. Maybe Absolutely. I have to 
party on the pier. I'm sure. I, so. I'll be there next year. You'll be there. You mean this year? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Next year, as in like next time. But yes. I think it's like in a month or so. So. Really. I think so, yeah, wow. already, okay. I know, it's been like a year since we last saw That's time. ridiculous, but I'll yeah. be there. Perfect, yeah. yeah, that would be a great charity event, and, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so thank you for using your voice to, you know, inspire others and yes. go to these different charity events. Absolutely, and, uh, I mean, I love charity events. Me too, they're the best, yeah. aren't they? They are. Thank, thank you, me. and have an awesome weekend. You too. Thanks. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye.